Hello friends, welcome to my next research video. You are with me, Professor Dr. Raju Sekhar. You are here to learn about research. I am here to share my experience. Come, let's get started. Today, I have come up with an important topic: experimental research design. You will learn what is experimental research design. What are, what is the flow of experimental research? At the end, in general, how what are the things you will identify in the experimental research? You are going to learn those things. Come. Let's get started. First, any experimental research design, you will have two groups. Two group would involve one is experimental group, another one is control group. Without experimental group and control group, you can never conduct any experimental research. Number one. If you take a flow of research, if you take any experiment, whether it is science, arts, or engineering, or technology, anything, you will have one group is experimental group. another group is control group see the experimental group means the group which you are going to use some other new methodology to test is there any going to be is there any improvement control group is a normal group they do not receive any special attention whereas experimental group they will receive special attention so you after setting up your two groups first thing you will conduct pre test for both groups experimental group and control group you will have the score with you after that the second step is you will be giving intervention intervention means you will be, you will be giving some extra uh, you will add certain things and you will teach them or you will give them extra effect to the experimental group whereas control group doesn't receive any special attention they'll go in a normal mode after giving your intervention then after that maybe it will take some time after that at the end you will conduct post test in the post test again you will conduct for both experimental group as well as control group here you would identify is there any difference between the uh, uh, what do you call experimental group and control group in the especially in the comparing the pre test and post test score in general definitely in the experimental group due to your uh, intervention there will be some improvement or may, there may not be improvement in case if there is uh, in case uh, if in case if improvement you find your intervention is good there is there is no improvement means your intervention is wrong then you can decide whether that experiment is successful or non, non, what you call unsuccessful got it and uh, the hub in general only the independent variable is administered to the experimental group not to the control group that is see here the impact of youtube videos in pronunciation here pronunciation is the dependent variable youtube video is the independent variable so that independent variable will be administered to only experimental group not to the control group because control group they do not receive any special attention they'll go in a normal way so once you give this uh, independent variable youtube videos will be administered to the experimental group then after that you will do the study pre test and post test you will identify the impact so at the end of this particular study you will study the impact of youtube videos in improving the pronunciation of the students in case you use newspaper in uh, uh, you are using another source newspaper as the independent variable to the experimental group you can check which is really giving impact whether newspaper or youtube videos you will study it at the end in the post test you will conduct the test for both experimental group and control group and there you will identify exact difference between experimental and control group in case experimental group has got a tremendous improvement and you can say that you can attribute those improvement to the independent variable youtube videos is that clear and what these studies generally tell you at the end see first thing uh, experimental design allows the researcher to control the situation because the experimental group they do not know anything in they they will be normal way adding the youtube videos you are just to what you call giving extra effort you are adding them you are going to test experiment whether that is going to work or not look at the second thing in generally all the experimental uh, setup study will answer the question what causes something to occur what is the reason for pronunciation improvement whether it is youtube video or newspaper whatever the independent how many independent variable you are offering and you can study which is really giving good, good impact and at the end you will understand the cause and effect relationship also because of what is the relationship between youtube video and pronunciation it's a good 
there is a is there any relationship between youtube video and pronunciation yes means the youtube video videos improve the pronunciation there is no relationship means youtube videos do not improve the pronunciation so in general it will tell you the cause and effect relationship between the variable that is independent variable and dependent variable what is independent variable youtube video what is dependent variable pronunciation then it tell you the relationship between dependent and independent variable that is there is a relationship between there is a impact of youtube video in pronunciation means there is a relation between dependent and independent variable with this that's very simple i think would have learned it clearly and i'll catch you in the next video bye bye